Gatsby's foot beat a short, restless tattoo, and Tom eyed him suddenly. By the way, Mr. Gatsby, I understand you're an Oxford man. Not exactly. Oh, yes, I understand you went to Oxford. Yes, I went there. A pause. Then Tom's voice, incredulous and insulting. You must have gone there about the same time Biloxi went to New Haven. Another pause. A waiter knocked and came in with crushed mint and ice, but the silence was unbroken by a thank you and the soft closing of the door. The tremendous detail was to be cleared up at last. I told you I went there, said Gatsby. I heard you, but I'd like to know when. It was in 1919. I only stayed five months. That's why I can't really call myself an Oxford man. Tom glanced around to see if we mirrored his unbelief, but we were all looking at Gatsby. It was an opportunity they gave to some of the officers after the armistice, he continued. We could go to any of the universities in England or France. I wanted to get up and slap him on the back. I had one of those renewals of complete faith in him that I had experienced before. So that was a passage from F. F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, written in 1925. And I really appreciate this banned book because it deals with classism, which is still relevant today.